We're hearing all the time, aren't we, about death at the moment. Every day, daily updates on how many people have died. And it can be just very discomforting and hard to hear. How we approach death as Christians is crucial. How we think about death as Christians is crucial. This verse in 1 Samuel 17 has been a source of real comfort for me as I've been meditating on it over these last few days. I hope it will encourage you too. This is what it says. Instead, uh, that is instead of Saul's armour, instead David took his staff in his hand and chose five smooth stones from the brook and put them in the pouch in his shepherd's bag. Then with his sling in his hand, he approached the Philistine. The question that I asked myself, in fact, I, this woke me up, this question, funnily enough, I'm a bit odd, is this, why did David take his staff with him to fight Goliath? You've got to imagine him breaking away from the Israelite army. He's going down into the valley. He's walking steadily, progressively towards Goliath, who has stood there clad in his armour with his spear in one hand and his sword in the other, growling, drooling, ready for his fight. And this little guy comes out and he has got a stick and a sling. The sling, we understand, it's a weapon. But what about the stick, the staff? Why does he have that? Goliath sees him carrying this thing. Goliath says, am I a dog that you come before me with sticks? And so I was reflecting on this question, and Psalm 23 came to mind immediately. David's most famous psalm. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And it suddenly just spoke so powerfully of that scene as David walks into the valley of the shadow of death, as David approaches what everyone considers to be his final moment, no one else is believing in the same way that he is of a rescue from God. It struck me that the reason he has the staff in hand, as much as any, is because it communicates something of the nature of his faith in God in the context of death. I have a shepherd, he's with me, he comforts me, he will keep me safe, he will protect me, he will rescue me. And in this Passion Week, we're thinking of course about our Lord Jesus Christ as he went towards the cross, as he was led like a lamb to the slaughter, as he died there without the comfort of a shepherd in complete isolation, complete dereliction and abandonment. But that in the cross of Christ, as he died there, so too did death ultimately die. And so as he cried out, it is finished, all the work that was required to be done to conquer death, he fulfilled. And so for you and I, and for all whose faith is in his death and in his resurrection, we fear no evil because... The resurrected shepherd is with us, comforting us, assuring us that the same power that rose him from the grave will raise us from the grave as well. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The Lord is my shepherd.